this is how my kitchen looks like at the end of the day it's night time post dinner time i do not attend to my kitchen the entire day because i'm taking care of my daughter taking care of my son doing other stuff cooking attending to them and my daughter is a very light sleeper so even if she goes to sleep i cannot rattle any dishes in the sink or anything because she wakes up and we live in an apartment so i really do not want to wake her up and that is the only time i can relax so i try not to disturb any dishes in the sink or anything just eat and put our dishes on the counter and i clean everything at the end of the day so as i told you i do everything at the end of the day here i am emptying my dishwasher i do not even empty my dishwasher if i need anything from the dishwasher i take it directly from the dishwasher emptying the dishwasher and now i will start loading the dishwasher that is what the first thing i do i start clearing out the sink so that i can put more dishes in it collect them from around the house and more put more dishes in the sink so the first step is to start loading the dishwasher now loading the dishwasher is pretty simple i recently started using the dishwasher after my daughter was born and i love it i highly recommend it if you have a dishwasher in your house or your apartment if you do not use it i highly recommend it that you start using it one very good thing about is that it tackles all the small dishes spoons we go through a lot of spoons forks glasses plates during the entire day big vessels are generally less because i do meal prep but we go through a lot of bowls plates glasses spoons everything so it tackles the small dishes very nicely and it gives them a very thorough clean dishwasher in itself the grooves the sections that are made are self explanatory so if you look at it and if you do a little research you will know that how the plates will go in how the bowls will go in how the spoons will go in spoons i always put them one side up and one side down alternating and knives i always put the sharp sides down so that when i'm taking out the knives i don't hurt my hand that is the only thing you need to take care of make sure the utensils are not overlapping and you can really just arrange the dishes in such a way that your dishwasher can tackle a lot of dishes at a time i use a kirkland dishwasher pods only i feel they work fine i have all i have not experimented more i would like to experiment with the cascade one hopefully when i'm done with this pack i will try the cascade one but if you do not use the dishwasher highly highly recommend it so while i'm loading the dishwasher let's take a look at my instagram i'm very active on instagram these days i took a sabbatical a break from instagram Uh, recently i have been posting a lot and it's been doing really good so if you guys want you can go ahead and follow me on instagram as well i'll mention my instagram head handle on the screen and it's majestic mohini as you can see i post daily whatever food a meal prep my daily bar smoothies and meal prep that i'm doing my quick cooking hacks everything everything is there in my highlights whatever i post on my stories i make sure that i'm updating in my highlights as well so if you guys want some quick cooking tips and meal prep ideas which i do you can go ahead and follow me on instagram and check out my highlights i also post about baby food what my daughter is eating about everything breakfast ideas here you can see i have a highlights for breakfast ideas as well I am more frequent on Instagram. I post there daily, so if you guys want, you can check me out over there. So here I'm emptying all the leftover food to be, which will go in the refrigerator, and I will be hand washing all the big dishes, all the big vessels. I will quickly wipe down the counter as well with the dry clothes to take all the dry, you know, crumbles which fall on the countertop. So first I will wipe the counter with a dry cloth to collect all the dry tidbits that are over there on the counter. Now I will take a water soaked cloth and squeeze the water on the counter. Here I'm not really cleaning it. I am making sure the water is spread everywhere and I will leave the counter just like that 
while I finish my dishes in the sink. This will ensure that whatever the greasy and whatever is stuck to the counter and the gas stove will be easier to remove once I am done with the dishes. So you can even take a dish soap cloth cloth or you can use Windex. I generally do not do that. I do that on alternate week or Windex I will use only once a week because I do not want too much chemicals in the kitchen. And with the dish soap, I clean it like once or twice a week. Today is not that day. Gas stove is anyways pretty much clean. It just needs a good wipe down with water because I thoroughly cleaned it day before yesterday so it does not need much cleaning it's not that dirty just a wet wipe down with the cloth is enough so what i'll do is i'll squeeze some water and i will make sure that everything is soaked in water leave it like that for some time and when i'm done with the dishes i'll come back and wipe everything down with a dry cloth so that everything is dry also i tried that stick on paper for my countertop because a lot of food particles go in the gaps that are between the gas stove and the counter. So I tried this paper. I am not liking it. So I will be taking it off soon. I won't be using it anymore on the counter. I will look for some other solution so that the particles or whenever I'm cooking, the tidbits do not go in the gap which is between the gas stove and the countertop. So if you guys have any suggestions, you can mention them in the comments. I would definitely be removing this countertop stick on paper because I am not liking it. get started with the dishes that are in the sink the bigger dishes like the big pots and pans I like them to wash them by my hand because they tend to get really really dirty and I always like to give them a good scrub with my hand also my roti tawa it will not go in the dishwasher because it is made of iron also I don't put steel vessels in it though I can put it but there was no space in my dishwasher so a lot of things i did not put you can even put this pizza cutter as well so as i said my dishwasher was quite full so i do not i did not get to put a lot of things in there but still it's quite helpful because the pile otherwise would have been very big and it would have taken me a lot of time to clear out the dishes for the day recently from costco i got a dishwashing wand but I'm yet to open it. I am trying to go through all the handheld scrubs that I have. I won't be using the handheld scrubs from now on because I just feel that there is too much chemical in contact with my skin and my skin feels really rough. So I have got that wand from Costco. I showed it in my previous haul. It is yet to be opened and I will be start, I'll start using that one because less chemical will go in the contact of my skin. My skin tends to become very, very dry these days because I'm doing a lot of cooking, a lot of cleaning, and my hand is always in chemicals. I don't really like, enjoy wearing gloves, but I'm gonna give that as well a try. But for now, I'm definitely gonna be using a scrubber with a wand and of course gloves as well because these chemicals are definitely not good for your skin and I'm constantly in contact with them giving it a good wipe this vessel I will need to soak overnight because today I made some pudding in it and it got stuck to the bottom so I'll have to soak it overnight to so that I can clean it tomorrow so I will be leaving that in the kitchen giving a nice wipe to the entire countertop it feels really good one simple tip instead of wiping it with paper towels keep a lot of dry cloth towels i'll suggest they wipe down so neatly and so nice and my sink looks so shiny in the end this kind of finish can only come with a cloth towel and not a paper towel 
I like to make the counter completely clean and empty. I put all the appliances inside. Everything which is not supposed to stay on countertop, I empty out everything because it feels nice in the morning to come back to a nice and countertop clean kitchen. So if you guys enjoyed my cleaning video, do subscribe to this channel because I will be coming with more tips. Thank you so much for watching.